So it has been brought to my attention and it seems like a lot of people are having issues installing the non-premium firmware or other firmwares on the Spotify car thing in more recent times than when we first posted the initial video. And that's because a lot of things have changed. So I decided to make a new updated tutorial with more finalized variations of the tools that we use when installing the firmware onto the Spotify car thing. So if you're coming from our initial tutorial, everything's pretty much staying the same except how we install certain tools and how we use them. So we're going to start from the beginning and work our way to them. In this video, we're going to be covering both Windows and Linux, so there aren't going to be two separate videos. We won't be covering the actual installation. We're just going to be sitting through how we actually cover it and what has changed. So let's get back into it. So it doesn't matter which OS you're using, we're pretty much going to need the same thing for both. We're going to need the Spotify car thing, a USB cable for it, and a laptop or desktop running any version of Windows or Linux. Now, just like I said before, we're going to be starting out with Linux, so let's see what we need for that. First up, for Linux, you can use Debian, or you can use anything else like Ubuntu. I used Kubuntu in the past, but recently I've noticed that the Heimel boot install kind of doesn't work. So I'm just going to show for both sides. And as requested, I'll be using a VM for this entire Linux tutorial. Now there are a few different variations of the Superbird tool we can use. I initially used the one from Bishop Dynamics, but two other variations have come about from it. Now the one I don't have any issues with is this one. And the reason is because a lot of the dump files that have been updated don't have the settings file and you don't need to actually change the extensions of the two system files. So we're going to download our Superbird tool, make sure it's this one by Elmore 377, and then download the firmware we want to install. Go to the mega link found in the description below. Once it loads, click on dump archive and then select which firmware you want to download. You can right click and then click download a zip. And then once it's done, go back to your downloads folder. Extract them into the same folder, just like I have here on screen. And then open up a terminal and let's install these tools. Just like before, we're gonna need Python, libusb-dev, git, adb tools, multi-strap, and then we have to fix Pymo boot. Now, when it comes to installing Pymo boot, unless you're using Debian, which it has been built for, you need to install it by using the same install command as we put on screen. But in this time, you need to do dash dash break system packages. And the reason is because this wasn't built for any other version of Linux besides Debian. So it kind of has to break the package in order for you to use it. But once you do this, Pymo Boot is pretty much installed and ready to use. And that's pretty much it for everything we need to install. The install process and running the Spotify car thing is pretty much the same. Plug it in holding buttons one and four. The screen shouldn't turn on. If it does, just unplug it, plug it back in, or try another USB port. If you go to your terminal, type in sudo period slash superbird underscore tool dot py dash dash find device it should come up in usb mode and then everything else pretty much stays the same you enable usb burn mode and then you restore the device now you don't technically have to put the device into usb burn mode as this version of the superbird tool will do it for you now if you have any issues in installing the firmware onto the spotify car thing i always suggest using a different usb cable and using a different usb port on your pc now, if you're using a virtual machine when it comes to this, make sure you do enable USB 3 compatibility for file transfer so you don't have to sit with USB 2 speeds. And that pretty much covers Linux. Let's get into Windows and see how we do it on that. Now, when it comes to Windows, everything is pretty much the same. The only real difference is the version of the Superbird tool we use. So we'll download and install all of the tools and software and then continue on. For tools, we need to download and install the ADB tools. Now, this is only needed if you want to get onto the shell of the Spotify car thing. You don't really need ADB tools. 
but they're nice to have for later on tutorials. Next, we need to install Python. I've had success using an older version of Python, version of Python 3.1.0, but with the new tool, the latest version of Python should be perfectly fine. And after this is done, install any version of Git, just make sure it's the 64-bit version. You may need to upgrade it inside the console line. Same thing can be said with pip, just run the python.exe directory, dash m, pip, install, upgrade pip. We also need to install Pymal boot, which you can do by downloading the zip file down in the description below, or you can just clone the repository in command prompt. You can do this by opening up command prompt, cd into our downloads folder, and type in git clone, and then the Pymal boot GitHub page, and putting it in your superbird tool folder, just like we have here. And then lastly, download Zaddig from the website. Now real quick for Zaddig, it's only needed if you haven't already flashed a different firmware onto your Spotify card thing. So if you've already done it, don't worry about Zaddig. It only changes the USB driver that the Spotify card thing uses so we can read it on our Windows machine. Just to make it easier, have your shortcuts to these programs either on your desktop or in a folder that we will have our files in. Speaking of files, after you've installed all those programs, we can get to downloading them. Download the Superbird tool, the firmware you wish to install. And now that everything's in the same folder, it's pretty much all the same. Except you don't have to rename any of the files. If you use this version of the Superbird tool, everything is pretty much set forth from when you put it into USB mode. Plug your Spotify card thing in holding buttons 1 and 4. If you haven't already, open up Device Manager and check its USB driver for the Spotify car thing. It will have an unknown device called GX Chip. If you don't see it there, that's okay. Just launch Zaddig, hit Options, hit List All Devices, hit this drop down if it's not at the top, and hit GX Chip. If we want to install LibUSBK, you might have to cycle through this until you find LibUSBK. Hit the Replace Driver button that will be here and let it run its course. Once that's done, Open up a console window, cd into our folder with all of our files. You can type in python period slash superbird tool dash dash find device should pop up as USB mode. Now mine came up as USB burn mode, we'll get into that in a minute. But if yours doesn't pop up at all, make sure you set the correct libuspk driver for the Spotify car thing. Try another USB cable or USB port and then rerun the script. And then just type in Python, superbird tool, dash dash restore device, and then the directory of that firmware you want to install. And that's it. I mean, the only real difference between our initial tutorials and this one was how to actually install Pymal boot on other versions of Linux as Pymal boot has changed. And then just an alternative superbird tool that actually allows you to install the firmware. And that pretty much brings us to the end. If you had any issues, let me know down in the comment section below. We are working on some tutorial videos for the OS's that were outlined in our recent Spotify car thing video. So those videos should be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.